Hi, welcome once again. This is Andy the Name Bender here, and this is part one of a series of three. And I'm going to show you today how to put together uh, a Madison name necklace. Now, I looked online, googled it, found out that Madison is one of the most popular names of the 2000s. So, without further ado, here it is. I'm going to start to show you how to make the Madison necklace. So, on the left here, we have a pair of long nose pliers. On the right we have a pair of side cutters and in the middle we have the roll of wire. In this case silver plated wire but it can be any type of wire. 18 gauge or 1 millimeter is usually about the best thickness that I find. And we start with what I call an initial loop. It's really just a small loop that I start every name with. The loop has a few, a uh, couple of functions. Uh, one is to is where the actual wire is going to end when the name's finished because it's just one continuous piece of wire. Now here I've made what's what I call a revolver bend and then a chain loop. The chain loop is a uh, small loop. This is where the chain for the necklace is going to attach to. And all of these terms initial loop, chain loop, etc. are explained in my ebook or my DVD set or my personal mentoring program. All of those details are available at the end of this video. Okay, so there's a letter M. It's starting to say shake now. Um, I created a couple of what I call forward crimps and backward crimps. So basically crimping is um, achieved by using the flat portion of the pliers which is the in the jaws of the pliers and that will flatten the wire and close any gaps that I call crimps. Okay, so now we go on to the uh, lowercase letter A here. And here is another forward crimp. And now I'm just making, um, I'm just bending the wire around the jaws of the pliers, the round jaws of the pliers. So that makes the, uh, the loop, semi loop or three quarters loop. Okay, now as I go along in the name, I'm, I often make little adjustments just to make it look straight. And here we go, here's a backward crimp. And now I follow a kind of baseline, which is the uh, where all the letters start from is the baseline of the name. And here we're going into the D. The D is really kind of a copy of the A, except uh, you make the top bit longer when you get to it. So this is basically the same as an A. Here we go going around. Now this is where it changes. Instead of uh, uh, doing a backward crimp here, we continue upwards. And then we, we're going to do a backward crimp but further up the letter. So you'll immediately see the, the D shape crimp. Now I put on what's called a serif which uh, makes the name a little bit more stylish now that's uh, the end of the first video uh, with the first three letters M A D and in the second video we'll be looking at making the rest of the letters of